Hi, I'm Melanie Atma and I'm a music performance teacher at NMIT in the Performing Arts Department. So when I come into work, um, as soon as I get here, I'm just um, surrounded by these beautiful grounds. And on both campuses where we teach music, the, the grounds are stunningly beautiful. And so I'm walking up to my staff room and I'm saying hi to colleagues and students and then um, up above me, pouring out of the windows, is just music. So I get that buzz as soon as I arrive to work. And often I'm thinking, who's that performing? And you know, which performance are they preparing for? Because I'm going to get to see it. For me, I think it's um, the sense of community that we have here. So we've got a, a thriving performing arts department and um, you know, it's just, it's about the vibe and the buzz that's here. So our students come here primarily to develop their craft, but um, such a big focus is networking. And I think that happens just effortlessly here. And that's, I think, due to um, how we've established such a great supportive environment so the students will collaborate with other students who are training in music business and sound production and the film and television unit also comes to our campus. And so everyone's you know, collaborating and working with everyone else and some great bands and great recording projects and great film clips come out of these relationships that form. What makes my day is when I see a shift in a performer's confidence and their level of confidence. So um, my specialty is live performance and all of the things that surround what it takes to become a really good performer. And so every week we run a performance platform class and students are either um, presenting as soloists or accompanying their peers or performing in one of the great ensembles that we've got or perhaps they're taking one of my workshops. One student actually had a disability and when I think of success, um, she really stands out to me because um, I asked her to try something new, which she did and um, she just went flying after that. She became a songwriter. So yeah, and I think she's recording now. She's, she's putting out material, so that's really good. I think something that's really incredible about our course is that students who are gigging and they're doing really well with their bands get to hone their craft and get to just keep on developing as a performer here while they're studying because we have so many performance opportunities. So they're either performing as soloists or you know they're you know getting to band lead or be led by other students who are band leading. And the ensembles are terrific for that, for really collaborating with others and developing those skills. So as a member of the staff, I'm actually a member of a group of people who are, are performers. You know, they're musicians, they're composers, and um, most of us are still out there doing it, you know, and um, I think when you teach, you get inspired by the freshness of um, the, the new talent that's in front of you. And it rubs off. I've written songs about students because they've inspired me, you know. And, um, you know, other staff members are producing albums and we're going to CD launches of students, going to CD launches of staff members. You know, you walk down the corridor and there's posters everywhere. And a lot of those posters are staff members, you know. Um, a lot of the posters are bands that have actually grown out of the networking and the relationships that are formed um, between the students. And that's really exciting. When you see, you know, when you audition them and then you see them meeting their peers at the beginning of the year, then halfway through the year, a poster goes up on the notice board and it's their new band and um, that's awesome. <laughs>